Welcome back here. Today's the global day of dance for freedom, where people from all over the world, all different continents are showing support for those in Iran, where it is illegal to dance publicly. And Isla from the Isla Dance Academy joining us now to talk about this issue, dancing for freedom, dancing for everyone. Isla, it's so good to see you. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you. And I want to start off with just talking about your experience dancing in Iran. Uh, we know we've seen reports of people getting arrested for showing dance publicly. What was it like for you there? Yes, I started my career as a dancer and a performer in Iran 12 years ago. And wow. uh, yeah, I did that for six years and then I moved here. It was really difficult. Um, well, to begin with, uh, it's illegal for women to dance publicly. Mm -hmm. The word dance is not allowed. Even wow. for men in books, in media, you're not allowed to use the word dance. So they use rhythmic moves if they want to use something okay. related to that. Trying to work yeah, around that. Work but around you still it. did this for six I years. I did this and it was really difficult mm -hmm. and um, we had to always, we, we, are, we were always aware that we're going to get caught if we do mm -hmm. something uh, like just a little bit in public or like um, right. if we want to get like a permit for performance. We had to go through a lot of issues and then it was only for women and um, no one could ever hear about it outside of that out wow. that area that was the performance. Kind of a and secret between yeah, women. Yeah, it was secret, yeah, wow. secretly okay. and um, yeah, it was really hard doing it and I remember there was once the, um, this police called us and yeah. I was the one who picked up the Yikes. phone. Mm -hmm. it, it was so terrifying. Right. Yeah. And <laughs> for right now, I mean, we're seeing all the protests. People want to be able to have more freedom in Iran. That's what this whole movement has been about. Yeah. You're dancing here at protests. We've seen you uh, with your team, with your group. You're teaching dance. Why is that so important for you to do now? It's really important, first of all, to show unity as women, and uh, when, when, when I decided to do this at the protests, I asked around, hey, I'm doing this, anyone can join me. You don't have to be a dancer, we just want to show the support to dancers, to yeah. everyone in Iran. And uh, with dancing, it's more powerful because we can show more emotions right. with our actions and body language and all that. Uh, even non-Iranians can understand right. how we feel about this. and. Um, we've been doing it everywhere in the street, in public, so people can stop by, watch, and ask about it. Yeah, and I want our viewers to be able to see what you're talking about. I've seen your dance, and it is mesmerizing. Thank it's you. emotional. It's really beautiful. You have a santir, santur here with Amir. Hi, good morning. <laughs> Thank you. This is from Iran. This is a traditional instrument, right? Yes. Okay, so I want to give you the time to do the performance. You're going to do this with the music of the santur. Uh, tell us real quick about that uh, I think sound. you can explain better. Do you mind having <laughs> yes. Yeah, no worries. Uh, so this is a, a um, Persian musical instrument. Yeah. Uh, uh, has 72 strings. Um, there are three different wow. octaves. Uh, you, you play with two sticks. You uh. hit the strings. And the sound you create with it. It <laughs> gives me the chills every time. So I hope time. everybody enjoys. <laughs> yeah, we hope everyone enjoys. Yeah. Let me step aside, Isla, and Amir, take it away for us. Yeah, absolutely. Take 
به کل آن زده 